Hey, did you know that just looking at a person's nails can actually give you a ton of information about how healthy their body is? It's true, and we're gonna talk about all the different ways our males give away secrets right after this. Welcome back, my name is Tammy, and this is Nurse Minder, and on this channel, we do everything nursing. So if you're new here, consider subscribing below so that you get the next video when it's released. Okay, so truly, I wish we could go out and get a manicure right now because these nails are in need of it. But you know, with COVID, we can't just do those things just yet. So we're gonna talk about nails though today and share with you all the information that these nails give you. For example, how many of you, let me know in the comments below, have a little bit of a nervous habit that when you're anxious or stressed, you try to bite your nails. That we can tell. When we look at your nails and we can see that those nail beds are right, or the nail is right down to the nail bed, that's a clue that you might have a chronic habit, have a lot of stress under some strain right now, and so that's one of the things I would ask you about if I saw that. Now the other thing our nails can tell us is a little bit about self-care activities. Um, maybe they don't have facilities to clean their hands so their nails are really dirty, or maybe they work outside and their nails are really dirty, so they give us some information about occupations, about self-care activities, as well as health status. So when we're focusing on your nails so much and we're looking at them and we're, do, you know, we're doing all of our assessments, we're really looking at cardiovascular health, respiratory health, nutritional health, and did you know that it can actually tell you and give you information to whether or not there's a melanoma? True. We're gonna talk about all those pieces, but first let's go over what a normal assessment looks like and what you should find all right, so let's begin our assessment here of looking at the nails. We're first going to inspect the nails, looking at the shape and the contour of each individual nail bed to make sure there is consistency. And what we're looking for is that the nail bed itself should be slightly curved or flat. And the skin that surrounds the nail, so the posterior portion on each nail and the lateral portion, so that's both sides here, that should be smooth and rounded. So oftentimes what we'll see is if someone has an occupation where they have to wash their hands a lot, that this area will be dry and cracked or even a bit red due to the ongoing irritation of the skin. So that's one of the clues we can get from looking at our nail beds is their occupation. You can look at the nail beds to see how clean they are. That's also gonna give us information about their occupation. And if they have bitten those nails down, right down to the surface here, that might give us some insight into their emotional or psychological state and tell us that they're maybe nervous or they have these chronic habits. Then we're gonna look at from the side. So we're gonna take a profile view here of the index finger. And what you're gonna notice is as the skin of your finger meets the nail bed, that there's a little bit of a dip here and that's natural. And then the nail bed rises up. That is also natural. We would expect this to be about 160 degrees. And this would be a normal finding in terms of looking at the side profile. Now when it comes to looking at consistency of the nail surface, we're looking to make sure that it is round, sorry not round, we're looking to make sure that it is smooth and regular, but what that means is that there's no brittle nails, there's no splitting of the nails, and that the nail thickness is uniform. And so we want to be checking this thickness as well because we know fungal infections is one of those things that will cause them to change and become thick. When it comes to looking at the color, we're looking now through this, what we call a transparent window. This is like looking through the window into the into the health of your body and what you should notice is that throughout all of the five fingers you can see an even pink tone throughout all of them. Now when it comes to this lower half moon, not everybody's going to be able to see this, but it's typically white. It's called a lunela. A little bit more dominant on your thumb. You can see this beautiful half moon here and that will be a normal finding. So if it's absent, that's not a problem either, but just to let you know that if it's white, that's the color it should be. If it's different colors, that also will give us signs or information into different things. So maybe the color that you're noticing is blue. And if it's blue, then that might look, um, might be connected to diabetes. Or if it is brown or black, it might be fluoride or um, renal disease. Silver poisoning, it might be a blue-gray. So this, this little lunella here can give us a lot of information as well. Now, of course, the nail bed itself, if it's a different color, if we've got some blue coloring on here, I'd be worried about um, respiratory conditioning. So, all right, and the last thing we're gonna do is check capillary refills. So capillary refills, we're gonna come along and we're going to pinch this, and it'll go pale as I pinch down, and then you watch the color come back. So it'll come up a little closer. So you can see how pink that is now. We're going to press down, 
it loses the color, and we count how long it takes for that to come back. 1001, that's very quick. Typically it is three seconds or less. So we're going to get a check. And you see how that comes back very quickly. If it takes too long, then there's something to look into for the cardiovascular system. All right, so now I love pictures, and this comes from vitaminshop.com, and it talks about the health of your fingernails, and I thought I would just use this image and shout out to them for doing such a great job. So here we have, if you've got brittle nails, which let me tell you, sometimes mine are, this can be just from washing your hands a lot and you want to just keep them moisturized, but it can also signal that you have poor nutrition, such as low vitamin A, vitamin C, or biotin. And here they add that it also can indicate hypothyroidism, so our nails are so important at giving us clues. Yellowing nails, especially if it's thickened, would be more likely due to fungal infection, but here they're sharing that this can be a condition of diabetes, hypothyroidism, psoriasis, so we want to be making sure that anything other than normal is being checked out by a physician. Nail pits and depressions, psoriasis, alopecia, vertical ridges, now this is common with iron deficiency anemia, we'll see this in older people more so as they age as well, but checking out your iron stores. If you have horizontal ridges, we're looking at zinc deficiencies. Again, diabetes is such a root cause of a lot of different changes in our body and maybe some kidney conditions here. Now here's the dark streaks. Now this can sometimes um, connect to a melanoma and we wanna make making sure we definitely get that checked out, but it can also be related to heart infection, psoriasis, and just a simple broken blood vessel. Okay, now I wanted to share this tweet here by Avraham Cooper, who's a physician, and he's talking about clubbing. How cool is this? As I'm making my video, there it is. So what's interesting about clubbing is we typically think of this as a respiratory symptom, but in fact, it can be related to lung cancer, to tuberculosis, to inflammatory bowel disease. So the most important thing here is that we want to get it checked out. Now, when we look at the picture, what you notice is there's definitely a discoloring of the nail bed, but you can see how it's kind of widened here at the phalange and the nail bed is kind of flattened and at the tip here it actually curves down. So we're going to show another picture here for you as well. So you see here how we have the normal nail bed. If you were to do this with your nails right now, you would have this gap here and your nail beds would be touching. With clubbed fingers, we lose that gap, but in fact here's where you see that curving of the nail bed down and this is a classic sign of clubbing. Okay, now this here's from the Mayo Clinic. The Mayo Clinic is an amazing resource, but talking about spoon nails, now this is something I've never seen before, but they talk about how it's related to iron deficiency anemia or a liver condition known as hemochromatosis. So now with Terry's nails, you'll notice here that most of the nail looks fairly white, but then there's this pink band up at the top of the nail just before the nail leaves the skin. And so this is can be a sign of, again, liver disease, congestive heart failure, kidney failure, or diabetes. So. Now Bose lines, as you can see on these nails, there is actually like this horizontal line. These are indentations on the lines. And I wanted to show you this one because if we have a zinc deficiency, that's one of the symptoms you might have. But this is also connected with several other potential conditions such as scarlet fever, measles, mumps, and pneumonia. And so All right, so that's a wrap for today. Now what we did cover was the normal assessment findings and they gave you some information on things that might cause an abnormal finding in your nail assessment. We spend a lot of time looking at these babies, so let's make sure we're picking up those clues when they present. And you just might be the next person to help identify an issue in your patient. Let me know in the comments below if you yourself have picked up on something that has changed the course of your patient's care. I'd love to hear your success stories. As always, subscribe to this channel. Let me know this is the content you're looking for. Hit that button, hit that like, and hit the button, the bell, oh my gosh. As always, subscribe to this channel. Let me know that this is the stuff that you're looking for. Hit the like button, share it with your friends, and hit that bell so you get notified when the next release comes out. Happy to have had you here today and make it a great day.